What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everyone tuning in. I want to talk about Chris Brown. Apparently, he took a jab or two at rapper Quavo in a new song and uh, part of his 1111 Deluxe Project. And uh, it's going viral. Everybody's talking about it. And, uh, you know, this is a time of, uh, I don't know time of the year, but we have a lot of beefing going on, especially in music, it seems like. And Chris Brown and Quavo is something that is not new. These two have, there's been rumors that these two don't like each other. I think Chris Brown at times has kind of alluded to it. You know, there's an incident that goes back to 2017 when Quavo started dating Carucci. And I think this is what this is all about. It's all about Carucci. The fact that Quavo started dating her, uh, like maybe a year or two after uh, Chris dated Carucci, you know, you know, <laughs> if any of you know, you know that around that time, Chris was deeply in love with Carucci. He did not want her with anybody else because you got to understand something about Carucci. Carucci wasn't an industry chick that I know of. She was not an industry chick. And I think once she broke up with Chris and she started hanging in these circles, he knew it don't be a matter of time for a lot of these rappers started to get at her and that's exactly what happened to the point to where she started dating Quavo and apparently back in 2017 uh, at a BET after party uh, their entourages got into it to the point to where uh, the Migos entourage surrounded Chris Brown's car when he was on his way out but we'll get into that a little bit later uh, you know I think uh, Offset tried to deny there was any issues but I mean clearly something is going on between them okay or went on between them to the point to where chris brown is addressing quavo years later and he's doing it because he still hasn't gotten over now maybe him and quavo was good at the time and maybe quavo didn't give him a heads up that he'd be dating carucci none of these guys all these guys are dirty macking all of them are trying to sleep with somebody's girlfriend or wife they don't care they don't and I don't think that Quavo would have cared either. And what's funny is that right after Quavo started dating Carucci, I believe he started dating Sweetie. He started dating Sweetie right after that. Now, I'm going to get into what Chris Brown said. Uh, this is according to Billboard. There's enough beef going around hip hop right now to make a grown vegan cry. Chris Brown reignited his feud with Quavo by taking shots at the Migo rapper on his 11-11 deluxe standout Freak featuring Lil Wayne, Jonah Lucas, and T Grizzly. The deluxe edition hit streaming services on Thursday and many fans picked up the viral lyrics targeting Quavo, speculating that the bars were about the Migos rapper alleged rope of romantic ties to Karuchi Tram, who Brown dated for about four years prior. Now, this is what the lyrics were. It says, effing my OB ain't gonna make us equal sipping that 1942 because I don't do no Quavo freak B like Casamigos, not the Migos, the rapper spews. Brown and Carucci dated on and off throughout the early 2010s, finally calling it quits for good in 2020, 2015. Well, that was certainly very to the point. And there are people that's going to say, well, you're reaching. I saw some comments. He's not reaching. This guy genuinely does not like Quavo. Y'all remember when, when Chris Brown was sitting at the uh, USC women's basketball game and he was sitting next to Sweetie? Was that a coincidence? I, I don't think anything came of it. Maybe it was a coincidence. Uh, but I found that to be interesting. Maybe I think it was more Sweetie than him. Um, I don't think he, he's not the type of person to take somebody's ex to a basketball game, but he was there. She was there and, and, um, <laughs> they were sitting next to each other, but it's very clear who Chris Brown was talking about. People are going to act like he wasn't talking about Quavo. Yes. He, yes. He was talking about, they have a history. Okay. They have a history with each other. This is not random. This is not him just taking, he's taking a dig because, he feels like maybe Quavo went behind his back and got with with, with Carucci. But I will say this, man, Carucci's a grown woman. 
and she wanted to be in those circles. She wants to go out here and date rappers. I don't think that has anything to do with Quavo. I mean, she wanted to get with Quavo. You know, she had the free free will to go and date who she wanted to date, despite what Chris Brown's best efforts to keep her out of those situations. But she ended up getting with them nonetheless. And the funny thing is, after her and Quavo stopped seeing each other, she started seeing Victor Cruz. And then when that relationship fizzled out, right around the pandemic time, she was single again. And I believe she was out there hanging around Quavo again. And then that fell through again. And now she's single again. But Chris Brown, to his credit, has never taken her back. Y'all know if Chris Brown wanted her back now, he could get her back. I know there's going to be people that don't want to believe that, but that is the case. That is the case. If Chris Brown wanted her back, he could have her. I think some of y'all are very delusional right now. You trying to tell me that Karuchi wouldn't get back with Chris Brown in 2024? Who, who, who? Nothing. It seems like she's kind of fizzled. She did have a TV show on uh, called Claws that seemingly was doing well, and it got canceled. Now she's on OnlyFans selling feet pics. I'm pretty sure if Chris Brown really wanted her back, she would go. Now there's more from this article. It says Quavo was seen with Karuchi as far back as 2017, and the pair have been flooded with romance rumors in the years since. After being spotted in West Hollywood dinner party in early 2022, Hollywood uh, Entertainment Tonight reported Quavo and Karuchi were a couple, but the model disputed the claims. She said that no, we are not. She told the shade room, Chris Brown, because y'all was just screwing. <laughs> Quavo could get her too if he wanted to. Quavo could get her if he wanted to too. Chris Brown initially lit the fuse in January when blasting Quavo after awkwardly being sat next to him at the rude menswear fall winter 2024-2025 show. Clearly, there was no love loss or reconciliation after the run-in. Can't pick who you sit by, Chris wrote in an Instagram comment following the show. F all that growth bleep. N-word not finna fumble my bag for a little N-words. I understand that. Yeah, you don't need to be out here fighting nobody. You don't. And, and honestly, I, I look at how people can per uh, perceive somebody like Chris and everything that he's been through and say, you know what? You can't be out here screwing up, getting into fights, dealing with, cause he's still haunted by that Rihanna situation. And he's, he's always going to, I think Karuchi played into that too, but Chris Brown didn't help his case. He really didn't. And the fact that Chris is still upset at Quavo I think he considered Quavo his friend. And I think that when Quavo started dating Karuchi, I think he saw it as disrespect because I think he thought there was some kind of bro code. Bro, this is the industry. There is no bro code in the industry. <laughs> These guys will screw wives and girlfriends. They don't care. Now, the, this is the these two sitting together. Uh, recently and uh you know Quavo always strikes me as the type of guy that's not gonna be for nobody he, he strikes me as the type of guy that's gonna try to keep cool and I think he should and um I think Chris needs to get over what happened with Karuchi years ago I think he felt like she walked away from him and she did Karuchi walked away from him because she wanted her own career. She wanted to be out here on her own in these streets. She had gotten notoriety from being with Chris Brown and she utilized it to her benefit for years, dating these famous men. I don't know what crew she got going on now. I told y'all she's doing the OnlyFans feet picks thing, but I think Chris needs to let this go. Just let it go. Now, again, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. There's probably more that we don't know about, but I, I do think that it's a bad look to still be upset because Quavo dated your ex. You know, there's no evidence that, you know, he was messing around with her while they were together. Now that we know of publicly, publicly, we don't know, but apparently he may believe that something happened before 
they were together out in public like that. But ultimately, that was years ago. You got to let it go. There's plenty of women out here. I don't think Karuchi's anything special because if she was, she would have been able to maintain her relationship with Victor Cruz. She, she literally broke up with him because they were living in separate places during the pandemic. You know? And now I don't know who she's dealing with. I think she's kind of fizzled out. She had like, I think she had that post famous girlfriend, uh, you know, spotlight when you have a female that dates a famous guy like Chris Brown and, and she gets buzzed from that. But then that, that fizzles. It really does. That's why she went back to secretly getting hooking up with Quavo. Yes, they weren't a couple, but they were, I bet you they were hooking up. That's why they were out getting dinner together. When exes link up to get to to hang out, trust me, they're screwing. They may not be in a relationship, but they are screwing. So, let me know what y'all think in the comments section. Let me thoughts, like this video, and share. Follow me on Facebook, X, Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.